I'm Susan. The other week, um, I did a hidden paper clip for one of, for my 50 stack challenge for one of those prompts. And I had one of my viewers ha ask if I had a video on hidden paper clips. So I don't. So I thought, I guess I wasn't, um, I just kind of did it and didn't really explain what I was doing. So I'm, this is just going to be simple paper clips. There's all kinds of paper clips, and I want to try them all because I really think they add a lot to your journals. So I'm just going to show you some, a couple of, I mean, the um, simple paper clip and how I make it and decorate it and go from there. So I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing good, and without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad she asked, and I'm sorry that I just didn't do a good enough job of explaining. But I've got all kinds. I just pulled a few things from my scrap box. Some are going to be the top layer, and some are going to be underneath the plain ones. I bought a pack that just had a bunch of different size. Um, I'll say that one. Black's hard to come by. And, um, you know, and just bits to decorate or whatever. So I think I'm going to do this one first, and I like just, I mean, this isn't like heavy, heavy cards. This is a little bit thicker than this, but just something a little bit sturdy, and I'm going to cut this in half, get my trimmer so I can get a straight, straight line, and I'm just thinking this is just going to be an over-the-top paper clip and it doesn't really matter what color you use underneath because you're you're not going to see it so I'm just going to bend that in half and I'm going to round the corners simply for the fact that it'll make it easier to go over your page so I'm going to do that So I'm going to use this paper. So I'm going to use one of these pretty um, peach paper clips. See, I have one that's a little bit bigger. You don't have to use the huge ones, but sometimes, you know, when I've got, make sure it'll fit. And I'll just put that over. So that goes over that card. Now you want to take, make sure that that goes. I don't know. It clashes a little, doesn't it? You may just have to stick with the silver. We've got green. The green may do better. Alright. But you just you fold that in and then you put your paper clip over it and then you decide how big do you want. I'm thinking I'm going to cut about if you want it maybe somewhere around there so I'm just gonna cut that off and then I'm gonna just cut that down so just however big you want it you can have it as big or small as you want as long as it covers this paper clip and it can come down below so I am gonna fold this in half I didn't cut it exactly straight but you're really not gonna see it but I will trim it up just to, for that peace of mind let me um, come down here got that trimmer at Hobby Lobby and I'm not sure that I'm 100% sold on it but I'm sure it's more user error than anything. Okay, let me get these out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing without a lot of distraction. Alright, 
So now you just want to take that and you want to glue it down. But once again, I am going to go ahead and round the corner simply because I like that look. You don't have to do this. I just like the way it looks. Okay. Now you just want that to be glued over. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And you want to get around. You want your glue to come out, but you want to go around that um, paper clip. Fabric tack might be better just because it's a thicker, heavier glue. But I'm just going to go ahead with what I've got. Just wanna oops. Put that down. Kind of center it best you can. Now this time I'm not um cutting a slit for that, but you can. And I will do that on a side one. This one's going to be over the top. But you can do the same thing using a side one, you know, turning it sideways and decorating it. Okay. Make sure it's down good. Stress my edges while I'm thinking about it. I love these, and they're they're perfect for like those blank pages, you know, where you have writing. That way, you have a decoration, but you can move it so that you can do your journaling. So you'll take your your page and now it'll just slip across the front like that and then all we have to do and you can decorate both sides or you don't have to it's pretty paper but you can decorate both sides because um, you're going to see it from front and back so let's see how we can decorate this one I've got some small images in here so let's see what we can find see that's pretty or something like that This is pretty. This came from a uh, Happy Mail from a friend. Okay. So we have got, make sure it's just one. So we've got something like that. And I've got some small horizontal words. So it's, and I've got some vertical words. I'm going to use the vertical words. Let's see. Create, blessed. Uh, maybe something like that. And you can put lace. I've got my little can of scraps here. Just a little bit of um, cheesecloth there. I've got some eyelet. Got some of the oh, those beads would be pretty. 
Got some little bits of lace. Got some little ribbon. Let's see what we can do with what we have there. All right. Now, I like to distress, so I'm going to distress mine. And I'm going to go around this. I love these. I think I'm just going to kind of tap over the top a little bit. And I Oh, I can't remember where these came from. Gail Augustinelli uses them a lot. It's junk journal something. I got these oh, back before I really started filming. I, I can't remember the name. Okay. So now... Just a few pearls. Now that looks pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. cloth down just a little bit tack it down because I'm gonna go around this and I like it to be up on the edges okay Let me go ahead and get these little beads down It's just something about pearls that just make things feel so much better. I think I got that over a little too far, but that's all right. All right. I see that will just go down over your page and like I say you can decorate the back see that's a little bit shorter but you don't notice it when it goes over so maybe this side I can do the bird and one of these butterflies would be pretty and maybe just a little bit of lace at the bottom there. I tell you what, the lace may be prettier here. I think it would be. So let me see. Got it right there. Put a line right across there. And tack down my lace. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think it goes really well with that one. This side, let me ink. Have my bird. And my butterfly. This also came from Happy Mail. This. 
I'm not very good with these, as you can tell. Let me get a. I have some more that are better. Let's see if I can find them right quick. There we go. These I can get closer to the the tip. I'll put some pearls on this as well. And I think the only other thing that I will do is just to go around my butterfly a little bit to make it pop. And I'll give them some antenna. This glue wasn't dry, I guess. issues with these pans because I don't wait. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. Use my gel pen. I don't know, I mean, it's just, just left it alone. All right. I think that's pretty. Say, and put it over your page after you open it up. And then you open it up. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Now, this paper is a little thinner. You might want to stick with a heavier card stop. All right. Now I'll show you a sideways one. In fact, I've never made a sideways one, but it goes along with the same principle. I'm going to get the pen back in my glue until I need it. Okay. So, sideways one works along the same premise. Let me um, 
round the corners. that in half. I don't know, I may need to get a longer piece. Let's see. I can use one of these silver ones. Ah, we're good. Alright. And I'm just gonna down. Sorry about that. Pesky laundry. Okay. And I'm going to trim that side down as well. Just to see which This one, I'm going to cut just a tiny slit on this card. So a little bit of my paper clip can go through. I do want to round the corner before I forget. Okay. So now I'm just going to glue that down. clip straight. Do the same on this side. come out too close because you don't want it to squeeze out glue your uh, upper paper shut all right see so how we're going to decorate this around it, especially where any white might be showing where it's not quite even. Okay, make sure it'll go over my page. Now, let's see what we can find. I've got 
some more cheese. No, yeah. I've got some more cheesecloth. I have got some purple ribbon. Bits of lace. And more lace. And let's see what little bits we can find here. Got these tiny little cards like that, and maybe that's her bow. Got that. Maybe that. Ooh. These would be pretty if I have the right color. I don't think I do though. Have more butterflies. More of those doilies. Well, there's some pretty purple pansies. Got these little tiny postcards. Those came from Dear Julie Julie. Ready? Okay. Okay. And let's see what else. I've got some music and some book page. And I have I have some small flowers. already got flowers on the back. I've got some small birds. Maybe. So much white in it. I might use that one. I still have to trim around it. And of course I got my words. We'll see. Okay. Let me just get that little bit of white out. Although on this one, I think, I think I will um, do a little bit of book page, I mean music page. I like that. Um, maybe a little bit of lace underneath. Maybe a little tiny postcard. That's pretty. Okay, let me 
ink around this. These are just on copy paper, so. And this one's on cardstock. I do like the ephemera better on cardstock. They just hold up to me. Marker that was suggested to scruff up my lace. My friend Big Sandy Moore, she believes in her seam ripper and just going to kind of fray that lace a little bit. Give it a little interest and texture make it look like it's been through the ringer for years and years use them. my glue stick on that one and let's see I will use my glue on the lace see which sides I think that's the front, so let me just kind of good grief. Thing stops up so fast. down and the postcard although I think I want to do the postcard maybe like that so I'm not covering up so much of the lace and I am very fond of these pearls Get these down. And make a word. We'll go with the horizontal this time.
I like happiness the best. That's pretty. And on this side, I think I'm just going to keep it simple for the most part. Let's see, I do like that. Let me cut a piece of this cheesecloth. And I will fray that some. Already pretty afraid. Okay, like that. Something like that. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, last but not least, is with these side ones. It's a perfect place to hang a dangle. So, let me find... <laughs> I lost my book page. There it is. Get it on there, and you've got a dangle on your page, and it's pretty on both sides. So, I really like how that turned out. So, we have got me clean up my mess. It'd be great just to do a mask make of all of these. Get my stuff out of the way. And we have got our hidden paper clips. So I'm just going to put that over those pages just, just for easy. film it, um, take my pictures. Alright, so we've got an over the top and we've got a sideways with a dangle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you um, show you how to do a, a hidden paper clap clip. They're really simple and they're fun to make. Yeah, I mean, you, I've got a pile of um, scraps that I need to be doing this with. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Y'all have a great, wonderful day. Take care. I love you. And until next time, bye, y'all.